Hi, this is Rob, Longevity Learning Lab. We've got two new welders here. We've got the Longevity Stick Weld 160 and we've got the Longevity Stick Weld 200. Both little DC welders, they uh, run on the 110 or the 220 current. Uh, really nice little welders, really light. And uh, they're hotter, obviously, than the 140 that's, that Longevity had. And uh, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and show you what they have and then I'm going to run a little bead right quick. Now they're both the same principle. They both run on, like I said, on the DC. Now you can also have the attachment for the TIG welder, but it'll run on DC and it's a little scratch welder. Or, and um, then that's another accessory, but it does not come with the box. It just comes with your ground cord and then your stinger. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and I'll put the 160 off to the side. I'll hook up the one, the 200 and I'll run a little bead and show you how to set it up. It's real, really easy. I like them because they're light and they're versatile. I mean, they, the, if they're like the 140, they'll just go forever. So it'll anyway, come uh, with your stinger cable. Then it'll come with your ground cable, right? Then it'll also come, if you want to go to the 110 or the 220 current, you got your adapter. And this will go right into your standard wall socket. And then this is your adapter plug that goes into the machine. And uh, yeah, the 110 works good for really, really thin stuff. And for uh, 200 or even the 160, that's good for structural welding. It's, uh, it's always great for do-it-yourself. So uh, yeah, I'll show you what's going on here. So what we got, 160 I got. And I got it set up for the, plugged into the 220 right now. But before I turn it on and show you all that stuff, I'm going to show you we got how good the, we got our nice little ground clamp here. This is just nice and sturdy. It'll last you. And then nice stick holder. This is this thing, you probably beat it up pretty good and it'll still keep going. And then uh, let me show you how we get it hooked up here in the front. Get these out of the way. Now because I'm running on the 220, I don't have to go ahead and use that adapter. So there's no need to show you that. But in the front, we've got our plus or positive and we got our negative okay so we just it's got the quick setup you just plug it right on in there and twist it so it'll stay nice and locked for you remember to keep the machine turned off when you do this because you know there's always a safety issue okay now that's that's all hooked up there now remember the polarity is going to be different so you can flip flop these around it just depends on the material you're going to be using and the rod you're going to be using okay it's in the back off switch and it's just one switch that's it that's just what it does. So let me turn it on for us. This is pretty quiet. You know, typical. Now in the front, right here, here's your control knob, right? And that just, that's your amperage control. Now over here, you got a setting where it's set for stick welding right now, but then you push the button over here, and it'll go to TIG welding, all right? And you can TIG weld on DC with this, but you have to get the little stinger, the accessory for it, and that's got the, the uh, we've got the regulators for it and all that. And remember the gas, the argon or the, the helium. And so the other button up here is for if it gets overloaded, okay? And then you just go ahead, it'll it'll shut itself off automatically. So let me see, we're gonna, we're gonna go back to stick welding. And that's at 69. I gotta go a little higher, so I'm gonna go up about 120. There we go. And you just keep turning it. That's the thing about digital. That's, that's a good point for it. Myself, I'm old school. <laughs> so we'll go this way. Okay, we'll get the 125. So now I'll go ahead and I'll get some rod and some material. And I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll run a little, little bead for us. And uh, we'll go from there. And explain to you in the manual. So let me go ahead and just hook it up right now. I'm going to do this stainless, so I'm putting my ground on the positive side. And that's pretty much standard. Get this out of the way. And our stinger. Now this is kind of thick material. This is quarter inch stainless, so I'm going to go a little warmer. So I got it set right now. I think it was 125. We got, yeah, 127. Okay. Here's your amperage control, right through here. It's the only knob you got to deal with. Then there's another button over here, and you can set it for your arc welding, your stick welding. Then you push it again, and then it'll come over to your TIG. And uh, it's like that. Then again, too, with TIG welding, you got to remember your polarities, so you might have to flip-flop these around. And uh, that's it. That's all you have to do. So now we're set. 
on DC welding always, and then it's on the stick welding, and we're 120, uh, we're 125. Let's see how this thing works. I got a bracket I need to use at home. <laughs> okay, here we go. See, it runs really nice and smooth. Hopefully that it'll just pop right off. The cool down. I'll show you after it's done. Yeah, just like that. I like it too. It gets good penetration. I cheat a little bit because it was already doubled. Let me turn this off. Ah, nice and quiet. So, really, I mean, for the for the price, these things are really, really nice. I mean, they'll just go forever. I mean, and look how small they are. I mean, 10 pounds maybe. And um, yeah, yeah, for for what I would need at home or even out in the field if you're doing fences, doing little hand railings, body work, you know, because you got the 110 option. And uh, let's see what the bead looks like here and I'll zoom up. You know. See how the slag just peels right off and uh, except for that one little piece. But uh, yeah, it worked out pretty good. I got the penetration for it and looks nice and shiny. We get that other little piece off there. See, if, and it'll just peel right on off. There you go. A little bit more cleanup. So that's about it. And uh, so yeah, for longevity, the 200 and the 160, they're nice little units, real, real basic. And uh, I'm Rob, and thanks for joining me at Longevity Learning Lab. We'll see you next time. Bye. Longevity 160 and 200. This is the exit outro. Three, two, one. Okay, so it didn't turn out too bad, really. I mean, I don't profess to be an arc welder, uh, just a welder, <laughs> you know. If I can see it, I can weld it pretty much. It turned out pretty nice, though. It's nice and even flow. Uh, you got to remember, though, keep your rods dry, too. I mean, because any kind of moisture just sucks that right into that flux, and you'll have trouble striking that arc. And if you do have trouble striking the arc, turn up your amperage a little bit. It'll burn a lot better because I mean myself I get the same thing. It'll stick on me, but it does come down to the the, um, the condition of your rods, and so you got to really really think about that. So keep your rods dry. Keep all your welding rods dry. Keep everything dry, you know. And um, yeah, the, the little 160 and the 200, they're pretty good. I like them. And like they're only 10 pounds. I mean it says it in the manual, but I didn't read it. And uh, so anyway, yeah, enjoy, and uh, I'm Rob, thanks for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab, we'll see you next time, bye.